Good morning, Facebookers, LinkedIners, YouTubers, podcasters, Twitterers. Is 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 that, are we still out Twitter? I don't know. Has he has he shut it down yet? Uh, morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. And um, today's musing. Today's musing is one. Uh, I hope we we'll land. I hope we we'll land with a few of you. Uh, and today's musing is called. We meet you where you're at. We meet you where you're at. Now, this kind of goes out to leaders, coaches, counselors, um, therapists and stuff like that. People I've worked with over the years, uh, I've coached and supported and I've been in this space for, for a very long time now. And this, it kind of, sometimes this baffles me because it's like a brand new concept. Um, but I suppose anything's new when when it's new to you, right? So, um but this has come up in lots of people have been speaking about this over and I'm hearing it and seeing it everywhere and all that sort of stuff. And it's, so it's right in my Raz, that's fine. But it's when, what I mean is people are talking about it recently, like it's a new concept and it's not, it's, it's been around for a very long time. So, but maybe it's more about individuals, personal growth. And when I say that, I mean by coaches and therapists and all that sort of stuff, I was in, when you get to a point, cause there's, let's face it in the coaching, mentoring, leadership space, there is a lot of ego and you know that some of that can be really healthy uh, and some of it can be destructive some of it can be unhealthy so when we talk about this we meet you where you're at the point of the, today's conversation is the at is always changing <laughs> the point that you are at is always changing if it's not i question whether we're actually moving forward i question whether or not we're any good as a coach a mentor a therapist a counselor whatever you want to call it right so this really gets to the nub of the support if you like that i truly believe our privileged role as a coach and a mentor is all about is so it's not that i am several chapters ahead of you i am better than you whatever it might be and all that sort of stuff and i believe me i'm saying this but there are lots of people that operate in this way that I'm a coach. Therefore, you know, I know and stuff. You only have to ask a coach who coaches them and you see them come to a kind of grinding halt uh, because they are the coach. And it's like, well, man. So you've got to know what it feels like to be under the, the cosh a little bit yourself and under the microscope. Um, and not only am I coached, I, my clients hold me accountable too. I learn with every single one. And it's, you'll be amazed how many members of the family have coached, challenged, supported me in the businesses I run to, to change the way that we do things. So it's a very symbiotic relationship and coach therapists really, really can be, you know, so, and should be. But one, one thing that's really passionate is when you, when you get into this space, you've been in this space for a while and stuff, when you're meeting with clients and you know, they're challenged for whatever reason, the natural, there's a rapport building that needs to go on. There's a trust building that needs to go on and all that sort of stuff. And this happens via conversations. This happens via questions, asking permissions and stuff. And fundamentally, what you're doing is you're, you're, or what you should be doing, in my opinion, and what we should be doing as coaches and therapists is we are literally meeting the individual where they are at, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, educationally, wherever they are at in their life. No judgment. Where are they? What's getting in the way? What's stopping them? Let's go where they are. Let's sit in the puddle with them if we need to, right? And I'm not saying everyone is sitting in a puddle when they reach out for help because, a lot of people do reach out for help because they want to continue to, to grow, to continue to develop. And they're in a good space and they don't want to go backwards. Do you know what I mean? So it's not always done from a negative point. But there is a lot of people that reach out when they get to a point where they just can't cope anymore. They just need support or they're, or they're stuck, right? They've reached a paradigm. They've reached a plateau, whatever you want to call it. Or they become aware that they're just not happy or comfortable where they are. So what we can't do is kind of sit on our mountain as a coach and go, come on over here it's really sunny and they're sitting on their mountain going well i've climbed all the way up this bloody thing and it's pissing down with rain and it's gray and it's bleak and it's like so you expect me to just believe you and trust you and come off my mountain and come up to where you are coach and everything's going to be rosy and it's like that's not how it works we've got to come off our mountain right we've got to go to them we've got to meet them where they are at and wherever they are at emotionally mentally spiritually physically education all those things we have to support them Show them love, compassion, empathy. And then when we're ready, we start to challenge. Because we can sit in the puddle for a little while. It's okay to sit in the puddle for a little while. Because do you know what? It's scary going over the top. But we will all reach that same point of realization that staying here isn't doable. 
at some point we are going to have to go over the top. The difference is whether you've got somebody with you supporting you, whether you've got that signing board, that kind of accountability, that that somebody in your corner to help you go over the top so you're not on your own. Because that's the thing. That's the real thing. So you're not doing this on your own. And then what happens is when people go over the top and they get into no man's land, right? It's new territory because they've grown their comfort zone. They've stretched that a little bit further. They've chosen to, to and committed to development and growth. And then you get into that, mm -hmm. not really sure what it feels like. What should I be feeling? What should I be doing? And, and you're in that no man's land space, which is just what it's like when you go over the trenches. The person they are is starting to shift. So the person we need to be as a coach and a therapist also needs to shift. So meeting somebody where they're at is not a one-time thing. I don't believe if you're supporting and developing people as a coach, as a mentor, as a therapist, where you are meeting them consistently changes. That's, that's evidence of the growth itself. So we are always meeting them where they're at, but where they're at changes. They talk about life is situational, right? So everything is about adapting to those situations. And, and I see this too many times where coaches have a model and they have a model and that's it. And it's so rigid, they're fixed in that model. And once you move outside of that model, they, they don't have anything in their toolbox. And that's what makes me concerned about this industry is that we're so transfixed with particular models and styles and certifications and stuff like this. And it's like, do you know, being the best human you can be, caring, empathetic, without judgment, without prejudice, asking questions and caring enough to listen to the answers and listen to what's being said and listen to what's not being said, read between the lines, poke around a little bit in there, get somebody to face their truth, hold that space for them so they can face their truth. That's really what it is about where they're at. And then as they grow, where they're at will change. We don't want to take them back where they were. It's okay to look back to see how far you've come, but we don't want to take them back there. So where they're at changes. We need to evolve and change with them. And I hear this where you're at too much as a one-time thing. It's like it's a, an individual moment in time. And I just think there needs to be some recognition and acceptance that we are always meeting people where they're at. It's the at that changes. It's the person that changes and evolves. You know, and sometimes they go backwards, sometimes they go forward, sometimes they just hover around looking sideways, right? That's learning to dance. That's, that's cool. We're allowed to do that. But it's always about meeting them where they're at, supporting them where they're at, with what capacity they have. That's what I'm talking about. What capacity, emotional, time, energy, what capacity do they have to be able to deal with the problems, the challenges, the issues that they're facing? And deep down, each human being I've ever met has got the resilience. They've got the courage. They're seeking it, but they've already got it, right? We forget. So when you look at the chimp paradox and you look at like the, 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 the chimp and the human, like the chimp going crazy and the human trying to rationalize stuff, there's a big piece in there called the computer, which is where the evidence is stored, right? The long-term filing cabinet. And you have a shed load of evidence of you've got through stuff before. So you know you can. You may not have got through this particular situation, but you thought that exact same thing about that particular situation, but you got through it, right? So the choice is, do you do it on your own or do you do it with somebody who's compassionate and can understand it, can question and can challenge, who can genuinely support you to get through what it is you need, to find your own answers, to back yourself, to support you, to build your own accountability so you can do this your turn, your way, your time scale. Meet people where they're at. It's the app that's always changing. That's today's music, guys. Enjoy it. Uh, if this landed with you, you want to have a conversation, let's let's meet you where you're at. Let's jump on a coffee in a Zoom and have a chat. Can't say fairer than that. God, that rhymes. See you later. <laughs>